This is the Toolkit RC WM150 Watt Meter. We have the source side, which is where you plug your battery in, and the load side, which is where you plug your ESC and motor into. Uh, it doesn't come terminated, so you have to add your own plugs. Uh, I've put XT60 plugs on there. I'll show you the demo. I have a, a battery with a, an inline switch, so I'll plug the battery in. And switch that on. We can have a closer look. This is current here. We have digital readout and an analog style uh, dial. And this is the power side. We have digital readout and these strange bar graphs, I suppose 1000, 2000, and 3000 watts. Don't know how useful they are really. And we have a sort of a graphical representation of the current. Down this side, we have uh, the PWM signal 20 milliseconds I think is that right pulse thousand microseconds and that's PWM uh, controller here or signal generator voltage there milliamp hours consumed during the test and the uh, run time on this side we have the PWM signal input normal servo style plug USB for firmware updates on this side we have the uh, PWM signal knob which is adjustable and can be tucked away for storage okay so let's do a little test I have a little test plane here with a motor on the front ESC there XT60 plug that into the load side of the meter plug the ESC cable into the meter and I'll Turn it on, and we're getting current readings there. Let's rev it up. So we're getting maximum current, maximum current of just under two amps, and power of 22 watts. Now you'll see, you can only read it while it's happening. It needs to have a, a persistent peak readout and I think these numbers need to be a lot bigger because that's that's the number I'm interested in and it's uh, a little bit hard to see. The dial uh, goes up to 160 amps. Most of my readings are only going to be under, under 40 amps so uh, a variable dial there uh, and the graph unless you can sort of go back and check the graph and see the scale it's not much use really. But this current reading here is what we're interested in. So I'll zoom in a bit closer and show you that again. All right, let's rev it up again. I think there has been a firmware update recently, which gives you the peak readouts, I think. Uh, but you can't do the updates on a Mac. It's only Windows and Linux compatible, unfortunately. The other way to operate it is to actually have it plugged into a receiver. Here's a receiver here. Let's plug the ESC into the receiver. Turn him on. That's bound up OK. I have my radio here. So I will try and get that in shot and show you what I'm doing. Now let's try a real life example. I have my Wing Wing Z84. I have a, a new prop on it. I don't know whether the prop is too much or, or not enough for the ESC, 30 amp ESC. I think it's a 2200 kV motor, so it should be right, but we can test it with the meter. And what we're looking for is uh, a maximum current of uh, way less than 30 amps. We certainly don't want it to go close to 30 amps, otherwise the ESC won't be powerful enough. So let's just, it's going to be a bit awkward. Current got up to about 17 amps there, so that combination is perfectly okay. As long as the motor can handle uh, that power. 
I have found with some ESCs that have been previously calibrated using a different transmitter, if you turn it on and you get... You don't get the normal start up, three beeps or whatever, of the uh, motor and ESC. If it keeps beeping continually, then you need to calibrate the ESC using the meter if you have it plugged in like that. It's fine if you've got it in your transmitter using the receiver, but in that case what you need to do is turn the PWM dial right up, turn it on, then turn it right back down when you hear those two beeps, and now it's calibrated it properly and it's going to and it's going to work with the meter. So it works well enough, but as I said, I think that number needs to be big and more contrast. I don't like the white on light blue. Don't need the dials uh, unless they're going to give us a peak reading or something like that. Don't know about these bar graphs. Just need big numbers and um, the graph is a little bit unnecessary.